Howdy everyone, hello and welcome to more of Let's Play Bly, Broken Soul 2, I am the Black Shadow, and yep, we're in jail. Uh, the General's um, aide happened to come back as we were chatting with Miguel and uh, forced us into the cell at gunpoint. And uh, while at least uh, Nico is keeping uh, the General busy, our plan with getting out with Dwayne has kind of fallen apart. And as such, we're going to have to work our own way out of here. It's... Uh, it's kind of awkward. It was Miguel. Listen to me, Miguel. You give me that rope and I'll get us out of here. Is there somewhere you can hide from the general? Of course. My friends have a boat ready to take me up river. But how are you going to break out of here with just a short piece of rope? I'm not sure. But I'll think of something. All right, then. If your plan doesn't work, will you let me hang myself in peace? I kind of want to say sure, but like, we'll get ourselves out, folks, don't worry. Solid bars protected the small window. I wasn't getting out that way. Mm. That door looked pretty sturdy to me. It was the lock which held the door fastened. My very own slot bucket. <laughs> Already I was feeling institutionalized. <laughs> I couldn't escape that way. Yeah. The door was locked. Pretty solid. I didn't have the key to the lock. Nope. I wasn't going to demean myself by using the bucket until I was desperate. Hmm. Right. We need to think of a way of getting out of here then. We need to be uh, cunning. I'm guessing we can't use this to on, the delay, on the lock. No, that's not. That is not the solution. It was the piece of rope which Ronaldo had given to Miguel. Right. We need to think of some way of getting something going here. So, what are we thinking? Can we use the rope on the door? No. Maybe rope on the uh, on the window? Hmm, okay. I just needed a start point, basically. Oh, Dwayne! Dwayne was waiting expectantly. I had nothing else to ask him. Okay. There's our names. The rope was securely tied to one of the bars. Hold on, couldn't we? Hey, Dwayne, I want yeah. you to tie this rope to your truck and then drive forward. I'd had no idea whether this was really going to work, but I'd seen it in a black and white western. Of course, Hopalong was using a horse and Dwayne had a four ton truck, but. Hey, the principal's sound. Anything you say, George? Just rip the damn bars Please out. My mother. Cunning. She can be a little difficult. Oh my god. Apparently, that's the mother, by the way. Oh my feet. Raoul, propose, you idiot. <laughs> Don't mind her. She just wants grandchildren. <laughs> Don't think I can't hear you, Raoul. I want the worthy successor, and you're not it. Mm. Propose now, or I'll do it for you. Look, Nico, we haven't known each other very long, but... What in what the, the hell was, was that? I didn't know what was going on, but Georges had to be involved in it somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's looking. Nico's out of here. My God, it worked. I ain't gonna say a thing, cause that sweet sound of falling masonry says it all. Quick, senor, the river. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Huh? Wait, what about Nico? There she is. Josh, what have you done? You only had to sneak a look at the job, <laughs> and it's turned into World War III. No time to explain, come on. Oh no! Don't move, terrorist scum! You talking to me, Junior? Yes, I'm talking to you, fat man. And my name's not Junior. A word to the wise, Junior. You carry on waving that pea shooter in my face, and the next person who sees it is gonna be your proctologist. Savvy? General, I am happy to report that I have apprehended the terrorist. You're 
idiot, not them. <laughs> the other American and the French woman. They're the ones. I think what, we're just we're just straight booking it. I recovered consciousness, I was alone, washed up on the riverbank. My head was aching fiercely, and my mouth tasted like a swamp. But I followed the sound and discovered a tree house in a nearby clearing. Okay, we need to just like, just take back everything that just happened here. So, right. So we bust out of jail. We got onto the boat going up river. We got hunted bow down by an armed chopper. And it just freaking just took out the damn ship. And somehow we survived. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. What is this place? The contraption consisted of a crude wooden wheel with wooden slats. Interwoven vines made up what looked like a drive belt. Can I take him? Apparently. That vine rope could be useful. Hmm. Oh, more information. Here we go. Yeah, Dwayne Swing Me and Miguel from jail. Not the most elegant route rescues, but. Yes, I head up river towards the mine. I never meet trouble. I had settled down for as well and kept a helicopter appeared from Dallas and bombed the boat. I remember being blown out of water and debris falling all around me. The stream carrying me away. I looked around for Nico, but we couldn't see her. The machine was broken. That's kind of my fault. What is this place? Perfect for a game of poo sticks. <laughs> it would have been a shame to tamper with the elegant bridge. The water wheel had been built to provide a natural source of power. The wheel had a rim of roughly beaten iron. It seemed to be working just fine. Very cool. It was a pile of damp leaves. It was a pile of damp leaves. Confirmed. It was a large wooden cross. Is there a way I can get up here? We should probably look, look to inspect to see what the hell's going on. I'd always wanted a treehouse like that when I was a kid. <laughs> Hello? Anyone home? Yeah. How are we going to get up there? There was no way of climbing up to the treehouse. At least not by ourselves. It was a large wooden cross. It was heavy. I guess that was intentional. It would look like a church if I could fasten this cross to it. <laughs> Cute. Treehouse to treehouse. Mm, that's not what I expected to say. It would look like a church. Okay. We we have something we can do with that. Alright, let's get looking around, I guess. Two round stones were carefully balanced on a wooden structure. The stones were too heavy to turn by hand. Hmm. Okay, good. 
maybe we need to come up with some kind of uh, cunning contraption, perhaps. And clearly, we need to get up here. That much is much is fairly obvious. So we need to kind of look at what we've got here. We have our rope. It was a length of rope made of twisted and knotted vines. We can bounce across, maybe. Can we just use it just to straight get up? No, not quite like that. I need to think of something here. We have our heavy cross. What do we do with it? Put it in the put it in the in the uh, in here maybe. Ah. The leverage from the cross allowed me to turn one of the stones, but the other one remained stationary. But maybe... Hmm. The vine provided a drive belt to connect the two stones. Now we can use the cross with the uh, press. I don't know what we'd want to use the cross with the press with, but we can. The principle works. Whoops. Now I have the contraption working. Okay, so we've got it running, which is nice. The question is, though, is what the hell would I use it for? Two rounds. Hmm. I mean, it's good to know that I have it working, but like... Huh. Don't need to fix something out here. The iron rim of the water wheel would have torn the skin from my fingers if I touched it. Hmm. It seemed to be working just fine. Can work something out here. There's nothing I can do with this. The machine was broken. Yeah, whose fault was that? This is the problem we've got here. We've got this freaking contraption we've got up and running, but I don't know what purpose it serves. It's kind of awkward. Is it for me to mess with the watering machine? I have no idea. These leaves that are just like here. It was a pile. Can I like do something with it maybe? I don't know. Maybe we can put the cone in like make a piece of metal in or something. Yeah, I was just thinking that. The cone was ideal as a makeshift <laughs> container. Okay. So you want, okay, so now I'm kind of getting an idea of what we want to do with this. No. No, that's not right, Dan. Okay, so we've got our code, which we need as a container. So we can look to squeeze something and produce something with it, and it gets collected in the cone. The question is what? No. I was, I was asking a lot. You never know. <laughs> the poor worm. It was a pile. We need to put something on this before I operate it. There's no point in me just picking this up. It was a large wooden cross. What do I have that I could, like, logically, like, put in it? I don't really have anything, particularly. Yeah, nothing, nothing really makes sense. <laughs> put the stone on it. What if I just use it now and just see what happens? Yeah. It's not doing anything for us currently. We've got the principle works. That much is for sure. We need to we need to do more than this. Maybe we need to do more of this cross. Maybe we can use it to like. I couldn't see any great benefit in sharpening the cross. Come on. No, that's it not. It seemed to be working just fine. That's not the solution. 
We know it's something to do with the with the leaves here. That makes sense. Hmm. Just trying to like puzzle this away here. It would have been a shame. I'm just trying random things in a little bit, which is not probably not great. Maybe I'm meant to use the uh maybe I was meant to use the, the washing machine first. I don't know, like it doesn't seem like I can take the vines back, so I assume that's not the case. I got nothing! There was no way of climbing up to the treehouse. I got nothing, folks. I got I got nothing at all here. Hmm. All right. I think I'm gonna have to use one of these hints here to give me some kind of direction. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is there a way for me to interfere with the water wheel? That's what I'm thinking. No. That's what I'm wondering. Can I maybe interfere with this somehow and kind of, uh, you know? Oh! As I held the fetish to the iron rim of the wheel, a shower of sparks cascaded onto the leaves. Oh, interesting. Okay. It was a pile. The leaves were too damp to burn on their own. We need to make a fire. Can I keep doing it? As I held the fetish. Hmm. One more time. As I held... Nah, the leaves are too wet. The leaves were too damp to burn on their own. I need a different way of... I need to, like, make a fire, but... It seemed to be working just fine. A wooden box was connected to the nearby water wheel. Yeah. The machine seemed to be pumping... Oh, wait, there's a separate thing? The machine seemed to be pumping air up... It seemed to... The machine seemed to okay. Interesting. We've got a different, uh, couple of different pumps there. It was a pile of damp leaves. Hmm. It was a water. The iron rim. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Not the worst idea I've ever had. How would one make a fire? Unless I'm just not allowed to take any of this. It would have been a shame. No, I can't miss it. I'm not allowed to take any of this to do anything with. The machine was. I wonder. <laughs> you never know those sort of things, eh? You never know. So we've got a we've got a set of leaves, which we can like make sparks from the water wheel come by, but they're too wet. And that's like we have to stop this machine. This is pretty clear. This is what we've got to do. How in the hell would I? The flint step. I'll be honest, I have no idea. Oh, nothing. 
I can do this, which is great, but it's never going to sort of fire. Unless, hold on. As I held the hold on, what if we put like some paper on this? Yeah. The bank statement was just what I needed to kindle the damp leaves. You don't need it anymore. Now we can look to get some attention here. As I held the fetish to nice. the iron rim of the wheel, a shower of sparks cascaded onto the leaves. Oh, it's going to put in the smoke's going to go into the air machine. Yeah. Here we go. Quick, man, put out that fire. I found a sick woman up here. Sorry, Father, but I needed to attract your attention. All right, let's put it out then. I'm glad I worked that out without having any, any more help there, so that's good. Alright. There we go. What's he doing out here? Who are you? And what do you want? My name is Stobart. George Stobart. I'm Father Hubert. I don't suppose you speak French. Huh? Why do you want to know that? I found a young woman with a fever by the river this morning. Nico. Oh, is close to death. And there's nothing I can do for her but pray. I don't understand her, but I think she's speaking French. Hang on, that must be Nico. It must be. Hold on. It was Father Hubert. Oh, that's it. What are you doing out here in the jungle? God's work. Not quite the destination <laughs> I had in mind when I set out, but I don't know what they say. Mysterious ways and so on. Mm. You didn't plan to end up here? No. I was on my way to the miners' camp in the north. I was stuck here when my boat capsized on the river. That's Man. exactly what happened to me. How long have you been here? Eleven years. Jeez. That's my girlfriend you've got in your treehouse. What's the matter with her? She's been bitten by a venomous river snake. Oh, but boy. Can't you do something for her? There's a cure, isn't there? I ran out of penicillin and morphine years ago, but the local people speak of a root which they believe will counteract the poison. That's why I've made this. Where can I find this route? I don't know. But maybe the shaman at the village can tell us. Will you show me the way to the village? Me? Oh, but... I can't. Can't? Nico's life depends on it. You're right. Of course I should, despite my own guilt and shame. But I can't go as a representative of God with a priest collar. A creased collar? You mean you put your personal attire higher than the life of a sick woman? I will not go to that village looking anything but my best. Give me your collar. I'm sure I can find a way to press it. There we go. That's what we've got to do. Okay, then. Thank you, my son. In the meantime, I must contemplate my sermon. There was obviously more than a creased collar bothering the priest. Where do you think you're going? I've got to see Nico. Please, my son. I know it's hard for you, but she really must be disturbed. The girl needs rest. Well, at least we know what's going on. I always wanted a treehouse like this. What's going on with this? Prince? It was Father Hubert. Yeah. Interesting. Well, anyways. We know what we can do with the uh, with the press. So there I was, hundreds of miles from civilization, doing the housework for a priest. It's a strange world. Welcome to Broken Sword. <laughs> the press worked surprisingly well on the collar. Okay, maybe we need the cup for uh, another use for this, like for the roots, perhaps. Because it wasn't useful for that there, but it's, we clearly put it down there, so... For later. Let's give him his damn colour. Here's your collar, Father. Uh, 
Thank you, George. You probably think it a little odd of me to make such a fuss. Oh, no. If I'd been living in the jungle for 11 years, I'd be completely <laughs> screwy, too. Screwy? Yes, perhaps I am. Ever since my last visit to that village. What happened? Do you want to tell me what happened at the village? I took off my vows. I let myself be overwhelmed by the beauty of this unspoiled paradise. And in a moment of weakness, animal passion reared its oh, nice. head. You know, you should be writing romantic novels. <laughs> Did you experience some kind of a physical liaison at the village? Yes, I'm ashamed to admit it, but I found myself doing the monkey dance. What? I've never heard it called that before. And I didn't want to pry any deeper into Hubert's murky past. <laughs> now you've got your collar back, will you take me to the village? I still not finished my sermon. Look, Father. I still don't know why you're so reluctant to visit that village. And it's none of my business. Whatever the reason, it can't be more important than saving Nico's life. You're right. I must be crazy. We must make haste if we're to reach the village before nightfall. By the time we reached the village, it was sunset. This should be interesting. Hello, boys. Glad to see you're still wearing the underpants, what? <laughs> They're the best Christmas present we ever had, Father. Mine are too tight. <laughs> well, we all have our cross to bear. Uh, this is George. He has a request to make. I'm afraid I can't stay. Good luck, George. Thanks. Should I be surprised? That's a relief. I never feel comfortable with him about. Me neither. These damn pants keep riding right up my butt. So, what do you want? Someone was paid money for that line. My girlfriend has been bitten by a snake. So, everyone in my family has been bitten by snakes. I was bitten by a dormouse once. She's really What is sick. going on? I hoped your wise man might have medicine. Wise man? You must have the wrong village. What do you mean? Father Hubert said there was a wise man in the village who could help me. Ooh, he must mean the old man, the shaman. There we go. Are you going to stand by and let my girlfriend die? Of course not. What do you think we are, savages? We'll start the preparations for a cremation feast. <laughs> this goddamn guy, I swear. I'd like to see the shaman, please. You can't just go walking in there and demand to speak to the shaman. Why not? You have to observe the protocol. The shaman demands tribute. Tribute? You mean, like a gift? That's right. Mm -hmm. The eternal question. What do you give a man who has everything? <laughs> uh, hmm. Give me a clue. What kind of things does your shaman like? Does he have a hobby, a favorite sport? You insult us. The shaman lives on a higher plane. Oh, right. <laughs> Maybe a book would be more suitable. Or a jigsaw puzzle? Don't you just hate choosing presents for people you don't know? Before I make incredibly poor life decisions. The guards looked as fierce as anyone can, wearing only their underpants. <laughs> the guards looked as fierce. Uh, would he like some? Like, is he just after eternal beauty? Would your wise man have any use for lipstick? Not in that color. <laughs> Haven't you anything in black? Of course I don't. Black? Here, he'll like these biscuits. If you say so. Wait, do not tell me that's the correct answer. He liked the biscuits, especially the black one. <laughs> no! He wants to know if you've any more. You gotta be shitting me. Look, I know it's not much, but I want your shaman to have this. Do you expect him to eat that? 
He's an old man, you know. He might choke. This stone is what brought me here. That's a spirit stone. I wouldn't touch it if I was you. You're right. It could be cursed. Bit late for that. Right, so he is interested in the dog biscuits. Huh. There wasn't much point in sending the empty box back to the shaman. Hmm. There wasn't much... Right, so... How in the blue hell are we going to get him more dog biscuits? The box was completely empty. How am I even going to, like... There wasn't much point in sending the imp... He wants more dog biscuits. Where does... Where does one even begin here? How... Can't leave. Stop. This is a private village. We can't go in. We must have the solution on hand. Oh my god. I put my lucky piece of coal in the empty box. Is, is this happening? Here, I found some more of those biscuits for the shaman. I'll give them to him. Oh no. He's gonna eat the... This is... This cannot work. The shaman didn't want the black rock. Damn. It was a good idea. It's the only thing I can think we did. We've got to put our various items into the... Uh, into the box, I guess. Let's try the stone. I put the statue in the empty box. There's already something... Alright, so we got to just try different things until we can get a solution. Here. I found... I'll give them to him. The coal was an interesting idea. He's not going to appreciate this. I think I might get murdered for this. And you know what? If I did, like, I, I, I would not argue. The shaman said to give you back this statue. He didn't want it? He's already got one. Damn. Well, then there's only one thing I can think of. I put the Mayan stone in the empty box. This is risky. Here. But I don't think we have any other I'll options. Give... There's no box. The shaman wants to talk to you. I hoped he would. Mm. Well, it's been nice to talk to you guys. We've got his attention. Am I just going to talk with you guys about it? Curiosity before I go in? I had nothing else. No. Okay, then. Yeah, I had a funny feeling giving the, uh, showing the, um, the stone to the shame and might uh, get his attention. Unsurprising. The woman was grinding a sticky mess of corn in a bowl. She, no, can that woman see certainly wasn't the reason I'd come to the village. <laughs> it was a basket full of rocks. I couldn't think of any reason to steal the villagers' rock collection. No, oh, come on. The man was busily weaving a cloth. That man wasn't the one I'd come looking for. It's the boys just frolicking around. It was the focal point of the village, the communal cooking fire. And with him... The old guy was obviously the shaman of these people. And he is who we need to speak to next time. 
on Let's Play Blind. Broken Sword 2. Thank you all for watching, everyone. And yeah, next time, we'll uh, see if we can divvy up from the Shaman. And more importantly, see if we can find a cue for Nico. Uh, we clearly need to get hold of whatever these roots are. And then we need to find a solution in Pronto. Hopefully we can get a solution. We'll see. I'll see you then.